The Chancellor got a friendly reception in Diedersdorf in Brandenburg. It was a welcome break from the criticism otherwise coming at her from all directions. Once again, Merkel is having to play down rumors of unrest, both within the governing coalition and within her own party. As party leader, she's going to great lengths to emphasize the Christian Democrats' continuing integrity. I would like to stress once again that we are a party with three roots, liberal, Christian social and conservative. None of these roots is unimportant to us. All three of them contribute to the strength of our party. But many younger members aren't convinced. They want to see a stronger focus on Christian values. The party's leaders, including the chancellor herself, have been accused of apologizing for being conservative. Ms. Merkel has said she's sometimes conservative, sometimes liberal, sometimes social. That makes her a bit of everything, but nothing completely. So she's not a conservative politician in the way people who say they're conservative would like her to be. Trouble is also brewing within the FDP. Last Sunday, the party hosted a regional conference in North Rhine-Westphalia. FDP leader and foreign minister Guido Westerwelle wanted to hear what grassroots organizations had to say. They haven't stayed true to their principles and now they're being punished for it. The Chancellor made the SPD look small, now she's making us look small. Maybe the FDP needs more known faces. A day later, back in Berlin, Westerwelle gave an optimistic performance for the press, despite the internal criticism he's facing. We had a regional conference yesterday. I admit that I'm very happy about the constructive tailwind we generated. His comments showed no trace of self-criticism. The regional conferences are important for the mood in the party. The leadership can say they've talked to party members. The officials at the regional conferences get material that they can distribute to grassroots organizations. But the conferences have no political impact because the people are not involved in policy formulation. Many party members don't agree with Westerwelle's policies at the national level. Along with 14 of his colleagues, MP Frank Scheffler has started an internal protest group. We must take a stronger line where certain issues are concerned, within the coalition and with our coalition partners too. We won the election on the central issues of taxation, health care, domestic security and legal policy. We shouldn't back down in those areas. Thanks to Erika Steinbach, the Conservatives' attempt to sharpen their profile has escalated into a public row. The Conservative CDU parliamentarian feels isolated and has threatened to withdraw from the parliamentary party leadership. Her traditional conservatism seems out of place in today's party. It's a concern for many people, I understand that. But we are a mainstream party, not a special interest party. As such, we have to reflect the broad views of the social classes in our society. I get lots of letters, faxes and emails in which people complain about the vagueness of the alliance's profile. They say the conservatism is missing. But just talking about it won't help. We have to show within our day-to-day -day political work that our conservative profile remains intact. So far, the party has been showing just the opposite. Its modern family policies, promoting careers for women and encouraging more involvement of men in childcare is far from strictly conservative. And the defense minister's plans to suspend mandatory military service undermine a traditional cornerstone of conservative policy. The move is extremely controversial within the party. These are major policies which, despite support from some areas, are proving difficult for Merkel to sell, especially to her own party. It was only a year ago that the government was voted into power. The FDP celebrated an historic election result, taking nearly 15% of the vote. Party members were convinced Guido Westerwelle was largely to thank for the victory. But within one year, that historic victory of 14.6% has plummeted to an historically low popularity rating of just 5%.
There are various reasons for it. It's partly due to wrong policy decisions, but I think also to overly high expectations on the part of the electorate. To think you could solve all your campaign issues overnight. We just have to stick with it, but also deliver on our promises. Guido Vestavella's popularity has certainly taken a hit. But the consensus is there's no one in the party who could replace him. Potential candidates like General Secretary Christian Lindner are considered too young. But the current economics minister, political veteran Rainer Brüderle, would only be accepted at best as an interim solution. Polls show that if elections were held today, the opposition Social Democrats and Greens would easily oust the current government. The CDU's popularity has sunk because the government hasn't performed well. The FDP's problem is poor performance in government and an unconvincing performance on the part of FDP ministers. So the FDP is in the worst position. Both parties will seek to emerge from the crisis, possibly at the expense of the other. Returning from the summer break, the coalition presented a united front in Parliament, but it'll probably take more than that to convince voters.